Okay, so today is a bright sunny day and I think I got really inspired by the sunshine and the shadows and silhouettes on the floor. I think I'm gonna sketch this view here in front of me in the living room. It's really inspiring. Okay, so here's my setup. I'm sketching on my kitchen counter. Here is my current art journal spread. So first of all, I'll be using a uh, 1.0, pretty thick tip fine liner to draw first. I think I'm gonna draw over here in this area, a long sketch about this big. And I will be using watercolors and my two water brushes to paint. So as usual, I visualize first with hand gestures. Now I'm beginning to draw the largest shapes first in this scenery. So the largest shapes are the uh, two door frames. So inside the frame, I have the, uh, the tree branches and leaves outside. And on the bottom of these door frames, I have two pots of Christmas cactus plants. So now I'm drawing the cactus plant on the very bottom. I think adding the house plants to this sketch is giving an interest because the door frames are in straight lines while these flower plots are and the plants are in organic shapes which is quite great contrast. So when doing a sketch I'm always being mindful of what to include and sometimes not to include because sometimes other things might be too much to be included but in this case these house plants must be included because they're important in giving interest. And these house plants are really uh, drawing the viewers in into the sketch. Okay, so now I am continuing to finish the door frames. That has quite the number of layers. The handle. Thick layers and thin layers, and these are the blinds drawn up. And now drawing the third pot of plant on the corner. Okay, so after drawing everything in the home interior, I'm ready to draw the outside. So now it's getting much more simpler because now the scenes outside are framed within these two tall frames of the doors, which is really easy to control because the drawing space is really small within these two door frames. Okay, so now I'm drawing the balcony rails. There's a, kind of a bit of perspective there. This part of the rail is pointing to, to the middle upwards. A lot of repeating vertical lines, which takes a bit of patience. 
and they don't have to be perfectly straight. Okay, now as you can see, all of the tree branches and leaves are fit within this small square space above the balcony rails. So it's a really small, easy space to manage. Now I'm just drawing really quickly just to capture my impressions of the leaves instead of focusing on the accuracy. I'm only focusing on my impressions. Okay, and here's another tiny square space here above the rails. In between the rails, there are uh, a couple more branches and leaves here and there. Still pretty easy to manage. Okay, now I'm just quickly drawing the floor lines to give it a mo even more three-dimensional perspective. Okay, and now I am ready to paint with my watercolors. So as always, I like to wet the areas first with clear water by squeezing my water brush. Ooh, just adding a few more uh, leaves there in between the rails. So now I'm mixing yellow and orange together to suggest the golden sunshine color on the uh, floorboard. And also the color is being reflected on the wall too. Outside on the balcony is more of a lemon yellow sunshine color. And for the leaves too, I want to add like a really bright golden color for the first layer. Everything is so bright with a yellowish tone. And the house plants too. Now just grabbing some blue to paint the uh, tiny sky, uh, sky areas above in between the leaves just a little bit. Mixing a uh, bright green for the leaves and grass. It's a mix of light green and lemon yellow using very small brush strokes of different pressures to suggest the shapes of the leaves. Whoops, so my camera's battery uh, died. So I painted the, uh, the shadows on the floor in a pretty easy way. So I basically, I mixed dark brown here and a little bit of ultramarine blue just to block in those shadow shapes. Now I'm just add, quickly adding a little bit darker layer there on top. Pretty easy, just paint those shapes right on top of the yellow tone. And for the shadows on the balcony, a mixed green and a bit of ultramarine blue. Add a little bit lines for the floorboard. Okay, so now I'm mixing a darker tone for the leaves. I mix Viridian Green with brown and a tiny bit of ultramarine blue, depending on the uh, darkness. Again, use very small dotting lines, brush strokes. And also I can see through the gaps of the blind. Okay, now I'm painting the houseplants with a strong green. Be mindful to leave the top part of the plants white because the sunshine is so bright. The top part of the plants are uh, pretty much like white, so shiny. And now just adding some thin lines of dark brown for the uh, tree branches and twigs. So for the panels around the doors, um, they have a kind of a shade tone. 
So I used ultramarine blue, diluted with a lot of water. They're not way too dark. Just a bit. Same, same as for the wall. I'm leaving the edge of the, uh, the door frames white because the sunshine is lighting it up. So just be a bit precise here and leaving the edge white. Okay, I think I have enough details for the view outside. Now I'm just gonna paint the flower pots. This one is pink, magenta. This one has a really dark brown tone. Painting really loosely here. Another layer. Also leaving some spots of uh, bright yellow because sunshine is shining behind. And some of the uh, sunshine are being reflected. So we can still see sunshine from the opposite side. And it's done. Okay, and here is my finished sketch. I really like the strong contrast of sunshine, shadows. And the next day, on my way to grocery shopping, I spotted a black cat. He's really cute. And I spent some time playing with him. Look, and he's really enjoyed being touched, massaged. Hi. It's really healing to play with a cat. Meow. Okay, see you next time. So I've been working on this art journal for exactly a month now. Just drawing at least one little sketch every single day. Okay, and this spread is almost done. So after coming back from grocery shopping, I'm having just a little bit of sushi from the supermarket. So I think they look kind of static in the tray, so I decided to put them in my plate. So as always, I like to start drawing the general outlines first. Those square shapes and fill the inside with the details. Use black solid lines for the seaweed. Add a bit of texture of, to suggest rice. And the same for the next one. They're in flat cube shapes. And every, each piece of the sushi is in a different position, which is quite interesting. Adding a bit of small textures to suggest the rice. And this one is a little bit covered by the piece in front of it. And again, I'm kind of tracing those lines in an almost blind contour way. So when I draw things like these, I uh, very rarely look at the paper. So when sketching several pieces of the same thing, I think um, it's more interesting to put them in a more random way. So they're in different positions and perspectives. Okay, now I'm ready to paint with my watercolors. I'll be using my medium tip water brush. So as always, I'm wetting the areas first with clear water and adding the first layer to suggest the color of the rice 
So the rice are not really white. They have a very pale yellow tone and the shade color of um, dark blue. Keeping them very watery because the tone is not that dark. Adding a bit of light green for the cucumbers. Bending in a bit of darker green. Putting on orange for the fish. And wet on wet, some magenta. Painting very quickly and loosely without over blending. Putting a bit of brown to suggest the seaweed. Add a darker shade of blue. Just to give the sushi pieces more dimension. And finally, painting the shadows by mixing ultramarine blue and pink together. Very light and watery. They don't have very strong shadows. Adding a darker tone around the edges. And now mixing a darker tone for the fish so there's more contrast. And finally, adding a frame, a very light colored blue frame, so they look more united. Okay, so I'm going to sketch these withered orchid flowers in my art journal. So now I'm putting them on a sheet of white paper so it's easier to see compared to on the kitchen counter. Okay, so I'm going to sketch the dried flowers right here in this small space. So I'm quickly visualizing the pieces on the white space first. I'm going to start drawing the dried flower on the top. Linking one petal after another. Add a bit of texture. breaking the flowers down into very simple shapes and linking one piece after another next to each other. Linking the next flower, adding texture lines along the way. These orchid flowers look so pretty even when they are dried out. And these flowers lasted for a very long time, like around four months. Okay, ready to paint again by wetting the areas first with clear water. Adding a uh, grayish purple tone by mixing ultramarine blue and a bit of purple together with lots of water. Wet on wet. Some magenta mixed with purple using thin brush strokes. Because the flowers, it, it doesn't have like a, a solid uniform purple color. It has streaks. So now I'm gradually adding more and more layers of dark purple by mixing in more ultramarine blue. So there's better contrast. And finally adding soft shadows. You know, objects that have very um, light weight, their shadows are usually very light too. 
So I'm making these shadows having like a, a dark bluish purple tone, just like the reflections. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, please click like and leave me a comment below. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comment section. You can subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. Here's a closer look. I will see you next time.